वेलकम ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू सुधर्मा फिजिक्स क्लासरूम वी आर ऑन द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अप टू द टॉपिक ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सेल्फ इंडक्शन एंड मूविंग कॉइल माइक्रोफोन हाउ डज अ मूविंग कॉइल माइक्रोफोन वर्क ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज सेल्फ इंडक्शन we talked about induced current we talked about electromagnetic induction in detail so now we are going to learn a new phenomena it is self induction so what is self induction the word itself says that right you can see two uh, coils shown here and what is the main difference between these two circuits in the first diagram there is a 6 volt dc supply and in the second diagram there is a 6 volt ac supply connected so uh, in which of the following diagrams uh, there will be an induced emf produced so just think in mind the condition for electromagnetic induction or the condition for the production of induced current or induced emf is there should be a change in magnetic flux associated with the coil so in both the diagrams only difference you can see is about the power supply that is nothing but one is ac and the other one is dc power supply in both the diagrams you can see a solenoid and a soft iron core material why soft iron already we discussed this uh, concept in a in one of the previous sessions so i'll be explaining that again today also so soft iron is used as the core material in both the cases so there are a lot of advantages of using the soft iron as the core material so in 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 the connection which contains dc current Uh, when you switch on or switch off the circuit at that moment there will be a change only at that instant there will be a change in the amount uh, or the current flowing through the coil but if you are connecting an alternating current there will be a continuously changing magnetic field there will be a continuously changing magnetic flux associated with the coil so when that happens the change in magnetic flux due to the flow of an ac in a solenoid will generate a back emf in the same solenoid in a direction opposite to that applied to it that phenomenon is known as self induction in the case of uh, transformers we discussed about mutual induction there we had two coils right the change in magnetic flux in one of the coils will be inducing a current in the next coil that is mutual induction so here this is within that same coil right there will be an emf generated which opposes the uh, power supply we have applied to that right so the change in magnetic flux due to the flow of an ac in a solenoid will generate a back emf we call it as back emf in the same solenoid in a direction opposite to that applied to it so uh, it will be opposing the induced emf so this phenomenon is called as it is known as self induction okay so hope you understood what is self induction so why we are using soft iron as the core material in all the cases all the experiments with magnetism we always say that we need to uh, take a soft iron as the core material so soft iron the important property is it get magnetized easily and it gets demagnetized easily so whenever we need a magnetic field whenever we need the magnetic field to be stronger we can insert a soft iron as core material because it increases its magnetic fields uh, field lines also come in that region that makes the magnetic flux more and more uh, dense so when the flux is dense the amount of induced current or the induced emf can be increased in case of electromagnetic induction or if you require a stronger magnetic field then in that case also the soft iron core helps a lot okay so the properties are it gets magnetized and demagnetized very easily okay so in the case of electromagnet also we use this soft iron as the core material So now let's see. Uh, we were talking about inductance, right? Self inductance. So self induction. So here we are uh, going to see some different types of inductors. Inductors are nothing but coils. We learned about solenoid, right? Simply if in, without a soft iron core, if we are taking a coil, right? That uh, uh, copper uh, insulated copper wire just make into the form of a coil. Then it it is an inductor. Inductors are coils used to oppose the changes in the electric current in the circuit. they are used to reduce current in a circuit to the desired value without loss of power so what is the role of an inductor 
it is used to reduce the current in a circuit to uh, the required amount without the loss of power because uh, during the energy transmission the power shouldn't be lost right uh, so always we expect 100 percentage efficiency in any device so without any loss of power if you have to reduce the amount of current in a circuit you can use inductors okay so resistors are used and uh, th that is for another purpose inductors are used to reduce the amount of current without any loss of power because in the case of resistor there will be a power dissipation taking place so there will be some loss of energy in that situation so here you can see different types of inductors you can see it is just coils right copper wires uh, just uh, just wound in the form of a coil that gives the inductor okay so different shaped inductors are there and the symbol for inductor is this okay now we are going to learn the working of a moving coil microphone. What is a moving coil microphone? It's just our mic, normal mic we use for our programs, right? For a musical program or any purpose, we, have, we used to have the microphone, right? So nowadays we have the cordless mic also, right? So any of that kind, hmm? any of that kind we can call it as a microphone. So, how many of you know that this moving coil microphone works on electromagnetic induction? So, what type of energy conversion is taking place there? Right. So, when we talk, uh, we, we hear the sound in a louder way. Right. So, uh, the voice coil is situated in a magnetic field. The diaphragm connected to the voice coil vibrates in accordance with the sound waves falling on it. That means when we are talking, the vibrations of our sound, we, we know that sound waves are vibrations, right? So the sound waves will be vibrating that diaphragm, okay? So that will be creating a change in the magnetic flux, okay? So what happens? There will be some induced EMF generated. So electrical signals corresponding to the sound waves are generated in the voice coil. In the microphone, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. So here electrical signals, again what happens is it, it just passes and after that finally when it comes out, it is again converted into sound energy. So the vibrations of this coil, right, the, the vibrations according to our sound, vibrations according to our uh, variations in our sound that creates a change in magnetic flux you can see a permanent magnet here there is a diaphragm connected here so the diaphragm actually the diaphragm is vibrating that creates an induced EMF the mechanical energy that makes this coil vibrate and that will be creating the induced EMF so voice coil right the voice coil connected to the diaphragm that will be connected to the diaphragm so when the diaphragm vibrates this a voice coil starts vibrating that is similar to the situation where a conductor and a magnetic field initially when I was introducing the concept of electromagnetic induction I showed you an experiment where a magnet was stationary and a coil moves in the uh, magnetic field right so this is a similar type of situation where diaphragm vibrates that vibration is passed to the voice coil that means in a magnetic field a conductor is vibrated so induced EMF is generated that will be passed as electrical signals. So again with the help of other devices it, it will be converted into sound signals again and we will be able to hear it. So moving coil a loudspeaker we have learned in the previous chapter right. So this is moving coil microphone so when we talk that that takes our voice as the input. So that's uh, the S again the it's electromagnetic induction is the principle behind moving coil microphone so there are different types of microphones you just need to know the names of it carbon microphones crystal and ceramic microphones ribbon microphones and capacitor microphones so these categories are based on the method uh, it uh, the method by which it produces this uh, electrical uh, the sound uh, uh, the, the method by which the sound impulses are converted into electrical signals but in all the cases the principle is electromagnetic induction. So that's about self-induction and moving coil microphone. So in the coming class, uh, we'll be talking about household electrification and power transmission. 
from the power generating station till it reaches to our house and how uh, in the house how the connections are done it's going to be very interesting okay so we will i'll explain that very easy way uh, I'll, i'll be explaining that in a very easy way so stay tuned for the next class for households electrification and power transmission okay so if you are first time to this channel please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for more updates whenever i am uploading new lessons okay so see you in the next session thank you for watching bye